Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and I've got an awesome video for you today, especially if you are in the market for a new motherboard for your new gaming PC or if you're upgrading an older one. And we are gonna be sharing my top tips and tricks on how to buy the best motherboard for you, specifically looking at motherboard product ranges, how to navigate them, what they mean, and they can be pretty confusing at times because they tend to span different processor sockets, they span the whole spectrum of chipsets that a motherboard manufacturer supports, and it, you can obviously see cheaper product ranges existing at both the lower end on cheaper chipsets and on higher end chipsets as well. So that can be kind of tricky to get your head around, but the tips and tricks you'll learn today won't just be applicable to MSI who have collaborated with today's video, but they'll be applicable to other, board, other motherboard manufacturers as well. So we'll also be looking at some of my favorite features that you can see on motherboards at the moment. And then in terms of virtual features, we will be looking at the BIOS or the EFI as it's known today and all the features in there you, that you need to be familiarizing yourself with to make sure that your PC is running optimally and how to fine tune it in terms of performance and cooling as well. So some really great information sharing with you today in today's video. And all that's left to do is to thank MSI for collaborating with today's video and sending over these two bad boys here. And also for you guys to subscribe to my channel, it means a huge amount if you could click that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well, because it means that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Don't forget to like and comment on this video as well. Don't forget to let me know what your PC is gonna look like in the near future. Are you upgrading it? Are you sticking with it for the time being? Or maybe weighing up your options? Always happy to answer your comments below when I have time and don't forget to let me know what you think of this video. Did you find it informative and would you like to see more of them or other content? Always let me know in the comments. So that's it for the first part of this video. Let's crack on. So to start with then, we need to familiarize ourselves with MSI's product ranges and there are three of them mainly. We have MAG, MPG and MEG and the price typically goes up in that order as well. So starting at the bottom we have MAG and that is where the Tomahawk range of motherboards sits. We've had some absolutely fantastic Tomahawk boards in the past especially for AMD's chipsets. You might have known like the B450 Tomahawk and B550 Tomahawk. They've generally offered great VRM cooling. There have been issues with other motherboard manufacturers in the past with you know those cheaper chipsets and kind of cheaping out on VRM. Uh, circuitry and you throw in a high-end AMD processor and you often get overheating VRMs, those kind of things. The Tomahawk boards were well-renowned for their ability to handle high-end CPUs. You still get that great performance, but at a lower price. So here you still get Wi-Fi, you still get lots of premium features, but it is usually the sweet spot in terms of price and performance. So for that reason, MAG is definitely the first place that you should be looking if you are going to be focusing on a lower budget but you still want a lot of those great and useful features. And those features include things such as extended heat sinks for the VRMs. You also get heat sinks for your M.2 ports. You get MSI's fan control suites in the software and EFI. Moving on to power, on the Tomahawk for example, you get 14 power phases for the CPU plus another three in total. And if we move on to the M.2 ports, you also get tool-free M.2 SSD mounting. Now, moving on to MPG, which is MSI Performance Gaming, and you have one of my favorite current motherboards, which is the MPG B650 Carbon Wi-Fi. So this is where you really step up in terms of performance and aesthetics and cooling and a whole bunch of other features. For example, you get a lot more USB ports on the rear I.O. panel. You get full fat Wi-Fi and Ethernet and top-notch audio as well as more overclocking and testing tools. Looking a little closer at the motherboard and you again get extended heat sinks. This time they're a little larger and you get heat pipes and high quality thermal pads. You also get full coverage of all the M.2 ports with their own heat sinks as well. And if we move down to the power solution, you get more power phases with 16 power phases, this time for the CPU, plus another three in total. And not only do you get the screwless M.2 mounting, but you also get MSI's tool-free M.2 heatsink as well, which I think is an absolutely fantastic feature. And I plan to include this on as many of my future motherboards as I can, because it makes installing 
and removing or swapping out your M.2 SSD that much easier. Now, while the MPG range adds a significant amount to the aesthetics and RGB lighting, nothing compares to MSI's ultimate range, which is MEG or MSI Enthusiast Gaming. And as their name suggests, these boards are aimed at enthusiasts that appreciate top marks in pretty much every department from features to aesthetics, RGB lighting, and super power delivery for your high-end processor. So for example, the MEG X670E ACE is one of just two motherboards in the MEG range for AMD's Socket AM5. And as you can see here, this board looks absolutely fantastic with extra large heat sinks for the VRM power circuitry and M.2 SSDs. And if we head down the page and we will see just what this board is capable of. So we've got some absolutely enormous heat sinks here, large numbers of M.2 ports. You've got PCI Express 5 support both on the PCI Express slots and on the M.2 SSDs as well. The power solution, you've got an absolutely monstrous 22 phases for the CPU plus another three in total. And of course, you get the extended M.2 heatsink array with the screwless M.2 design and the easy M.2 clip, which doesn't require screwdrivers either. So the MEZ range, unfortunately, we don't have any MEG boards here to show you today. We were just focusing on the MPG B650 Carbon Wi-Fi and the MAG X670E Tomahawk Wi-Fi, but I'm sure you can agree that the MEG range looks absolutely fabulous and from boards that I've used in the MEG range in the past for my own test systems, uh, they have never failed to impress. So this is the MSI BIOS screen or EFI as it's more commonly known and I was just going to run through a few of my favourite options when it comes to MSI EFIs and you should familiarise yourself with these things because they just make your life a lot easier and enable you to fine tune your motherboard. So to start with, we've got an AMD motherboard here. We've got the MPG B650 Carbon Wi-Fi, which is socket AM5. And then we've got an AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 16 core processor in here at the moment. So one thing we do have is some Expo enabled memory. And the Expo is basically the AMD equivalent of XMP. And by enabling this, what you can actually do is set the correct timings, frequency and voltages to uh, adapt to your memory so it's running optimally and you can enable the expo memory profile really easily from this option up here and if we then go into the advanced menu and we double check the expo option if we go down here we can see that it has indeed been enabled so um, if you don't want to go through the menus or you don't want to start clicking buttons or if there are any other options that you want to find and you're not, you don't want to delve through all the menu system, you can actually click on this button up here and this is the search function. And as you can see here, I've already put in Expo and it will actually not just find that option for you, you can actually enable or disable it from within the search function. I think this is a really great feature for someone that isn't necessarily familiar with the BIOS. They're struggling to find a particular setting. It just makes it really, really easy for you to find it in there. And you can even set it to whatever you want it to do. So here we've actually disabled the Expo profile. And uh, I think that's just a really, really useful feature to have if you're getting a bit confused and overwhelmed by the menu systems. And you can do this for all sorts of other things such as fan control, CPU voltage, if you're overclocking, all sorts of other things, even BAR um, for the uh, the extra memory and uh, frame rate boosting feature for your graphics card. If it supports it, you can find that as well. So if we come out of there, another feature which I mentioned is Game Boost. Now this provides an automatic overclock for your CPU, which you can apply with a single button, just like that. And it will overclock your CPU. So you can click that button, click save, head out into Windows and run your, your favorite benchmarks and see what uh, benefit the Game Boost has provided. So another option is if we head down here is mFlash. Now this is where you update your BIOS version and this is a really, really important thing to do to make sure that your motherboard is opting, 
is operating as stably and as fast as possible, basically, so you can get performance improvements, it can be more stable, and perhaps the most important reason to update your BIOS is to make sure that it's uh, that your motherboard supports future CPUs. So just clicking on that will restart your PC, you will enter flash mode, and you can drag the BIOS file off your uh, USB stick, install it, and then away you go. So mFlash is down there on the bottom left, you definitely should be aware of that one. Now, probably my favorite option in the MSI BIOS is hardware monitor, and here you can see a fantastic graphical user interface that allows you to fine tune each fan to specific settings. So this is the fan curve here. And as you can see on the bottom, you've got the temperatures and on the left, you've got your fan speed. And you can basically tweak that fan curve to uh, alter the way that the fan responds based on temperature. So for example, at 70 degrees C at the bottom, you can see that we can either have the fan running at about a third speed or ramp it all the way up to 100% if the fan reaches about 70 degrees. And you can do this for every single fan on your system, including the CPU fan, which we've got attached at the moment. And another great feature I love about MSI motherboards is that you can fine tune the temperature input as well. So you probably don't want to do this for the CPU. You probably want to leave it set to the CPU core temperature because that's what it's cooling basically. But for example, if you had a system fan, what you might wanna do is have that fan pointed at your um, at your motherboard or at the uh, the VRMs and the heat sinks on there. You can just click um, MOS up there or click it here and go down and click MOS. And you can then uh, basically change the temperature source for the fan speed to another part of the motherboard. So that's a really, really interesting and useful feature to have and down here you can also select all fans to be at full speed you can switch between pwm and dc mode so if you've got a four pin fan you'd select pwm if you've got a voltage or three pin fan then you want dc or you can just set it to auto to uh, pick to select the the best choice for whatever fan your motherboard detects so this is the modern msi efi and hopefully we've just run over a few of the very important options that you should be aware of that are included in a modern MSI motherboard, such as the MPG B650 carbon Wi-Fi that we have here. We've set our memory profile with the Expo memory to make sure that the memory is running at the correct speed, voltages, and timings. And we've also looked at the hardware monitor as well, so you can configure your fan speeds so they are cooling your PC most effectively. And we've also looked at mFlash, which is where you will need to go if you want to update your motherboard's BIOS to make sure it's running stably and with the best performance and is also going to be able to support future processors. So hopefully today's video has given you a bit more of an insight into why it's important for you to understand motherboard manufacturer product ranges. They probably seem like they're just a marketing tool for manufacturers, but actually they can give you a very useful set of tools in identifying which motherboards are actually best for you in terms of price, performance, features or all of the above. And I know certainly from my own point of view that I will tend to focus on certain features like tool-free M.2 slots, extended VRM and power circuitry heat sinks and RGB lighting such as those that we get with the B650 carbon Wi-Fi here. And it's easy to identify which motherboards include those features because of the product range, in this case MPG. So also from my point of view as a reviewer, it helps when I get one of these motherboards in, for example, with one from MSI, it's either MAG, MPG or MEG. I can then work out whether I need to be focusing on if that motherboard offers great value or whether it really delivers on those premium features that you want from spending a little bit extra. So I'd like to thank MSI for collaborating with today's video and for sending over these two fantastic samples. Don't forget to check out all the links below about where you can buy a lot of the products in today's video and for more information on those products and other products from MSI as well. And we will be back very, very soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well. Love hearing what you think about today's video and also what you're doing with your own PC. Are you upgrading to a new AMD or Intel platform? at some point soon. Always love hearing what you guys are up to in the comments as well. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you soon.